yeah, like you said, I, I, I'm, I'm participating in a million different things, and I'm constantly either on my new buddy laptop, I'm on my new buddy, which is uh, BBKT, by the way, is the name of my laptop, in case you wanted to know. BB-KT. <laughs> It's okay. My, my little portable friend. Okay. Okay. Um, I see. But um, between my phone, my tablets, and everything else, um, you kind of get your brain a little overrun. And I was looking for a, a kind of a something to help me. I need help focusing, and 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 I a friend had suggested meditation, and I decided to look into it, and I started looking into apps, and I, I looked through a handful of free ones, and I found this one. It's Stop, Breathe, and Think by Tools for Peace, and I absolutely love this. Um, it's it's so incredibly. It's, it's adorable, first of all. The drawings are just, like, very nice. I like how it's very simple. It's a very clean interface. Um, it Before you even start doing anything, it's like, take 10 seconds and just get in tune with your body. And um, then it asks you how your physic feeling, like, it gives you emotions to choose from. And, like, first you start off with, like, either anywhere from a smiley face to a big frown. And you select different emotions that you're feeling. And then it asks you to um, ask how your body's feeling. And then after these questions, it calculates in this little like doop, boop, boop, looking computer. And it tells you, gives you suggestions on how to meditate and different um, options to kind of, they give you a few choices so you can sit down and then it guides you through and it's very much just stop what you're doing. Just be, pay attention to your body, feel about how your body is connected to, the, to the, what you're sitting on, how your body is connected to, and, and it, like a lot of times just your body shoulder connected to your arm connected, and it just kind of slows my brain down and, and I've, I've found myself doing things in other parts of my life like for example brushing my teeth stop just focus on brushing your teeth instead of me going oh my gosh I need to do x y and z before I run out the door or I need to I'm planning like 15 things in my head in all these different directions I'm, I'm just kind of stop and just like huh and it's this nice like nice little mind break and, and I find that if I do like the um the meditations before bed um I sleep a lot better because I think my brain is not um, in tune. Because usually I have a bad habit of like, oh, let me check Facebook one last time. Let me check Twitter one last time. Let's see how my, my promoted post is doing. Let's see how, you know, something I put out there is doing my content. And instead now I'm just like, oh, I'm ready for bed. And then I can go to sleep a lot quicker. So. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, like, I'm going through the web version of this mm -hmm. as you're talking here mm -hmm. uh, and, and actually downloading the app as well. Uh, yeah, as you know, you know, a lot of the clients that I've done, uh, I've worked with over the last five years, talk a lot about this this kind of concept. You know, the whole mindfulness, the whole kind of check in thing, um, and 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 you know, I, I've seen a lot of apps do this. Headspace is one that's making the rounds again. Mm -hmm. For instance, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm hearing advertised on a lot of um, on a lot of podcasts. And uh, and it, and I've seen you know we've talked with of course uh, uh, Matt Keener, Dr. Matt Keener that that had a, an app that you know was a good kind of emotional check in the use in conjunction with doctors for instance right mm -hmm. and he has some other initiatives as well uh, I I think it's really interesting to see some of these and, and try to help facilitate that visually as well I love I'm going like I said I'm just uh, you know poking through the web version here and I love I love the the feel of this right mm -hmm. it feels very accessible. You know, versus a, you know, what can I do with this? And it looks like you can give a lot of what you're feeling, how you're feeling, um, emotionally how you're feeling, and uh, and it's going to do a little bit of assessment for you. And even, like, you know, I pulled it up and, and uh, uh, it, it dims the screen for a couple minutes so you can just kind of sit there and not mm -hmm. do anything. Um, I, I think that's really good. And I think that's a, a really cool thing people should consider, especially as busy as we are, you know, I mean, you know, I, I we, we talk about, you know, I have all the tweets coming in my watch. So now I'm always getting poked with stuff like I am right now because there's a message right now. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and something else is fun that you'll get when you f start doing it is they give you stickers like, it just, ooh, you know, anything. It's, it's gamified. Back for more was the last sticker I earned. And it also gives you a little drawing with how you've been feeling this week. So it's like each day that you do it, you get a little person yeah. that pops up and he has a little brain above his head and you're like oh, I, was, I was feeling a little meh the other day so he's just got the little straight across face yeah but it yeah i mean it, it is important to take take that time out uh to, to kind of take care of yourself there um and uh hopefully you know if this kind of helps you i promise i downloaded one of these and then i forget to go check in with it mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like that one more thing that i forget about uh in the way too many apps on my phone situation mm -hmm. going on here so I, that's what, one of the things I was like, oh, I need to move this to the first page. Right, exactly. On my phone. Exactly. Well, I'm, I'm surprised more apps haven't taken on the, hey, you haven't opened me in a while and have some kind of tickler to, to get you to, to jump back. Almost like how I get emails all the time that say, hey, we've noticed you haven't logged into your, onto this service in a while. Come back, please. That's the one thing I don't see from from a lot of app developers is sending you that 
that little pop up or that little message on your lock screen to say, Hey, we haven't seen you in 30 days. How have you been doing? Yeah. 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 And, and that's the retention thing for, for these new services, right? Mm -hmm. That want to get the users up. Um, yeah, certainly something like this needs to happen. And, and I have seen some uh, along these lines that do bug you about it. But unfortunately, it turns into that other white noise if you already get too many messages. So it's kind of where do you start? And, uh, mm -hmm. and and sometimes it's like, well, let's just do one thing. Like, let's turn off. Let, let, let's go through. And if, 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 if an email, like for me, I go through and say, okay, uh, is this an email that I just uh, throw away every time it comes in that I signed up for back in the day because it was a new service? All right, I'm going to actually go through, see which ones I haven't read in like a, like three weeks and just unsubscribe from those newsletters. And again, like on your phone, say that's a notification I never respond to or is not helpful to me. Go in and turn off that and maybe turn off a couple others that you realize. I don't want that. I don't want that WB super card to tell me when there's a sale anymore. Right. You're going to turn it off. Right. So it's 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 not so much noise. And, and hopefully the things that do come through your phone are more meaningful and you stop missing texts from your significant other. <laughs> so. Um, but anyways, awesome. Uh, so uh, my awesome thing of the week. Oh, check that out. Uh, Stop. Breathe. Think. Dot org. Which may if it's a dot org, I'm wondering. So I wonder who's behind this then. Mm. If it's some kind of now I'm gonna to have to stop rethink. Dot Tools org. for Peace was founded in two thousand as partnered with over twenty organizations, universities and schools, and continues to strengthen and support emotional and social intelligence as well as academic success. Oh, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. 